Hello everyone. In this video, I'll talk about the creation of materials and cross sections. To create materials, you have to open the materials dialog window. Here you have a table of existing materials. And as you can see, every model starts with the full material. To create a new one, you need to provide its properties. The young models, which is always needed. The Poisson ratio, which is used to calculate the shear models. And this is needed for models whose elements have torsional behavior or Timochenko elements where the shear deformation during bending is taken into account. The thermal expansion coefficient, this is only needed when you have thermal loads and density, which is used only in dynamic analysis. If you provide a property that is not needed for your analysis, uh, it, it will simply be ignored. Then you can click the create button to add a new material with these properties to the list. You can create as many materials as you want. Each material is given an identification number. This number cannot be edited, but you can edit all the properties of the created materials. Don't forget to click the apply button after changing a, a value in the table to confirm the modification. And to remove a material, you have to select its ID and click the delete button. The ID numbers of the remaining materials are rearranged so that there is no gap between consecutive numbers. The creation of cross sections follows the same idea. In the auxiliary window, you need to provide the properties of the cross sections that you want to create. As you can see, not all properties are enabled, only the ones that are required for the selected model type. The first box of property is, the, is for the information about the cross-sectional area. A is the full area of the section. ASY and ASZ are the effective shear area in local Y and Z directions of the element. These local directions are perpendicular to each other and to the element longitudinal axis. In the case of a 2D model like this one, the local Y direction is the in-plane direction orthogonal to the element, and the local Z direction is out of plane, so it's not used for shear behavior. In the case of 3D models, these local directions need to be defined when creating the elements, I will leave some links in the description of the video to the manuals of older versions of the program where you can find more detailed explanations about it. In any case, the effective shear area of cross sections is only needed for Timochenko elements, otherwise it is ignored. The next box is to provide the moments of inertia. IX is the polar moment of inertia required for elements with torsional behavior and IY and IZ are the moments of inertia for bending around the local Y and Z directions. So for this case of a 2D frame, there is no torsion and the bending of the element is around the out of plane Z direction. Finally, the last box is for defining the height of the cross section. Again, you can define the height with respect to the local y and z directions of the element. And these properties are only needed when you have thermal loads, otherwise it is ignored. As with the materials, every model starts with the default cross-section. And the same procedures described for creating, removing and editing materials are also valid for cross-sections. And that's all for this video.